Room Radio. This is In The Club. Powered by Masterbeats.com. Goom Radio, it is Nico, and live in studio, we have Sasha. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. I've heard so many good things about you. Really? I've actually met you a few times. Yeah, we met. We did meet. It was in Miami. Yeah, on New Year. On New Year's. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. You look so much better than me. You're very, very handsome, too. Oh, thank you, so, Sasha. Do so listeners us- know about it, actually? Yeah, they have no clue. They just know my voice. Okay, so girls, he's really handsome. Yeah, there we go. I got Sasha to approve. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. We know you, you grew up in Russia, and you're, basically your fan base is derived from all the stuff that you've done in Russia. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I would say that I'm from Russia. I've been living here in the U.S. only two years. Mm-hmm. So I'm all the way Russian. But I think that um, you can treat me as a local now. Oh, okay. All Just right. got my green card. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> She's official, folks. That's awesome. So welcome to the United States, and uh, I'm glad you. you've been with us for two years. <laughs> and you've been making some pretty decent moves so far that you've been here in the United States. I work hard. Yeah. yeah well. I and my team, we are really, really hard workers, so... Well, when you have a past like yours, you started off singing when you were very, very young, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then and then you, you had... How many records have you recorded so far? Well, I released two albums and about um, 11 videos, and I made my show with MTV in Russia. Right. It was a reality show. Uh, yes. It yes. was like a girl pop, pop group show? Uh, no, not really. Um, that was my idea, and actually I was um, a, an executive producer of this show, too. Oh, okay, cool. So um, the idea of the show was... Um, I got together with my girlfriends and we just decided to make a huge stadium concert. And we were doing it, getting ready, um, you know, getting through all the difficulties and obstacles. So, and we got it done. It was awesome. It was a huge concert in Moscow? Yes, at Stadium Luzhniki. Okay. (laughs) Unpronounceable, it's not necessary for you (laughs) to try to pronounce it. Right, Luzhniki. Luzhniki, yeah. Luzhniki. Yeah. I got it. Kind of. Cool. <laughs> so um, you had this huge concert in Russia, in Moscow. You're doing music right now. You got some brand new music that's coming out. It's on the way. Any projected date for the album release exactly? Well, it's really hard to, to say what what is the date because uh, basically it's, you know, like right now, those days, music business is so crazy. <laughs> so, and I would say that we focus on um, get to get done that one song right you know like doctors say it's it's enough just one pill exactly yeah, yeah. to break through so we cooking it yeah yeah that's good <laughs> it's, it's always good to keep busy especially when you're recording because obviously every song is not going to be exactly what you thought it would be so you got to keep recording and recording um yes but i have a pretty strong uh picture in my mind mm-hmm. how it should sound like um basically um I grew up on European music Mm -hmm. and American music. So um, I would say that most of the producers, they say, oh, you're from Russia. Uh, Can you explain what is your music like, Mm -hmm. uh, sounds like? And I go, well, it's not really Russian. My taste, uh, Mm -hmm. musical taste, is not all the way Russian. I, um, I would say that I can bring something new. Mm-hmm. Because um, my influences are um, very nice, very um, intelligent and interesting electro. Oh, okay. So I would say Daft Punk would be uh, my, yeah. You can call me. Uh, the female version of Daft Punk. And Depeche Mode. Oh, all right. Yeah. With a little 80s twist on it. Yeah. I've, I've heard your music, obviously. Um, and it sounds exactly how you described it. Like electro, a lot of dance influences, obviously. But I wouldn't consider it dance music. I would say it's more poppy electro. Yes, but I would say that, like I said, we didn't get our perfect song yet. Mm-hmm. So I can say, okay, this one we're going to play on the radio and it's going to be a hit. Nice. Yeah, but I feel it's it's coming. Right. Let's talk about your first single, which is New York. Um, tell me about that song, how it came about. Did you write any of it? Did you? Yes. I, I wrote the song with a um, um, producer and one more 
um, amazing, talented singer. Mm -hmm. So, and um, I just got this idea to, it's so easy when you just get, uh, you know, into New York and you feel this crazy city mm -hmm. and it is crazy it is, it is yeah. insane <laughs> and um and if it's, you're not crazy you will become crazy because of it <laughs> exactly so it it definitely has this um uh unique vibe yeah i have never seen something like this anywhere else so and i was so inspired and i decided okay let it be. It's going to be New York. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it, tell us about the concert. I heard you had a big show right here in New York. Yes. It was in New York. It was in a Highline Ballroom, mm -hmm. and it went awesome. Nice. Yeah. And I, I want to say thank you, all my team, because everybody just made great, great, great job. Mm -hmm. So, and um, we packed the house. Nice. And uh, people were staring dancing screaming with with me with uh, you know with the dancers it was pretty crazy i enjoyed it a lot does that make you feel like all your hard work is finally paying off just this to is see the most someone going thing, crazy you know like money yeah. on the stage and you feel this exchange mm -hmm. of energy this is everything this is more than money or fame or anything else. Be singing the national anthem at the Mets game. Oh my God, guys! You got a so difficult song. I'm like, <laughs> I'm rehearsing it. I'm trying. It's like it has so big jumps. Like, okay, <laughs> let's do it. That's right, because no. you've you know. But it's you're pretty not, song. Yeah, but you're not from the United States, so this is weird because you're singing our national anthem. See, this is what I told my manager. I said, L "Listen, you know, like Russian people are probably gonna hate me for this. You know, like okay, like how long time you became, you know, American? Honestly, I think it doesn't matter. No, when you're coming out, uh, you know, to the place where people have this elevated uh, consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. They they fighting not against something or somebody." They fighting to, uh, you know, to to elevate themselves, mm -hmm. you know, like to win and to uh, be inspired and to inspire other people. Mm -hmm. So I f I feel I feel pretty, you know, confident to sing American right. anthem. Yeah, and, you're and an words now. are awesome. <laughs> My idea was maybe at the end I should sing Russian anthem, you know? <laughs> I don't know how well that would but go then, over. I, probably okay. maybe I'm going to look like female Borad, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but, well, uh, good luck. We wish you good luck. Thank you. Because thank there you. is going to be like 25,000 people watching oh. you do this. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy who sings the national anthem at the Yankees game has recorded like seven albums. So like singing at a baseball game is a pretty serious deal, oh. especially in New York. Oh, oh! Not to it's put any a, pressure on you. It's such an honor. <laughs> I, uh, I'm almost you know I, I get nervous. <laughs> Dasha, thank you so much for joining us on Goom Radio. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody who um, listens to us and. Um, See you soon. Here soon. For more exclusive Goom Radio video and audio content, visit GoomRadio.com.